Hi guys, today we're going to be learning this super cool counting animation right in PowerPoint. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do this animation. So as always, we start with a blank slide and we're going to change the layout to blank as always. And then we're going to insert a text box and we're just going to write the number zero. We're going to change it to poppets because I just like that font. We're going to bold it and size it all the way up. So now is the point where you probably already know how far you want to go. In the intro I showed all the way up to 120, but that takes a quite a long time. The concept's the same, but we're going to just go up to like say 10. So let's write 10 in this box. We're going to make it align center, so you can go control E, align text middle. This just means when I size it up or down, it'll just stay in the same position. We're going to go shape format, align center and align middle. So now we have our sort of end text box. This is what's going to stay on the screen after the counting animation has been done. We're going to go control shift. This will copy it along a line and we're just going to scroll it all the way there. So it's like beyond the text box. And then we're going to go control Y about eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason why I do this is then we can start Right at one, we can even start at zero if you want, so we can just do one more, and then we write the numbers through all these text blocks. So we just double click to highlight all the numbers. And you can see why this might take a, a longer time. If we were to do a bigger number, say 120, that would take a, a really long line. Obviously, you don't need to do it. This, this doesn't really matter in the long run. It's just so that we can lay it out and see what the numbers are. We're going to go Control A to select everything. Go shape format, align bottom. This will make it aligned with the 10 text box. And then we're gonna go align right. So they're all aligned to the right and then, so when it does the appear and disappear animation, it'll all seem like it's in the same line. The next thing to do is go animations. We're gonna go appear. Now this is important. We don't wanna go in here and click on appear, disappear, sorry, because it will override the animation we already have. So instead what we need to do is we need to go add animation over here to the right and then press disappear. So obviously this is not going to look very good at the moment. It's just going to go like that. It doesn't really do anything. It's just going to appear and disappear. So what we need to do is we need to put it in the right order. So obviously we start with zero. Now the annoying thing is PowerPoint has made it so the bottom animation both times is zero. So what we need to do instead is we need to drag this. We'll start with the green one. So the green ones are the appear. So they're the like the entrance animations is what PowerPoint calls it. So we're going to just drag all the way to the top and do that. We're just going to use the green ones to do this. And if you're wondering what these numbers are on, on the left here, I'll explain what they are soon. But what we're doing is we're basically making it go in an order. So the way the animation pane works, uh, I'll do a full tutorial on it so at some point, but basically along here is the timeline. This is just the amount of seconds. And usually it depends on how you do it, but usually for the basic animations, the ones at the top will go first. So the ones here, over here, are the ones that, uh, th these are when they play. So for example, this zero here just means it's with previous. We don't want that, we're gonna change it to on click. So that means when I go into the slideshow, I'll click and the animation will start. We've got another click here, which we don't want because we want these to happen at the same time. So the way this counting animation is going to work is each number is going to pop up and then disappear at the same time that the next number is going to appear. So we're going to click on this one with the two next to it, go with previous, so it happens at the same time. And then we're going to just drag it so that the red one goes just after its corresponding green one. So for example, this nine goes after this nine. This eight goes after this eight. So like this, just like so. And you just need to keep doing this, depending on how, how many numbers you have. That, that'll just be as long as it takes. It would take doubly as long if I did, let's say 20. So we're gonna just drag that there, there, and there. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to go to the end and delete that end animation. Because otherwise it will just flicker on and then disappear before we've finished do the animation. So what we do next is we highlight all the animations. You can either do that with control A or you can hold shift and highlight all of them. 
and then we're going to get rid of the first one by holding control and clicking on the first animation. What we're going to do next is we're going to deselect all of these ones. So the green ones, we're going to just hold control and deselect all these green ones. And then we're going to go after previous on these. Okay, that didn't do much, and the reason why that didn't do much is because an appear animation is instantaneous. Usually, if it was, let's say, a fade-in animation, you'd see it all get staggered to the right, but in this instance, it doesn't because the appear animation is instantaneous. So the way we're going to fix this is we're going to add something called a delay. So click on the second animation, hold shift, click on the last animation, we're going to go delay here, and depending on how long you want the animation to be is how long this delay is going to be. So for instance, if I want this animation to be one second, I'll take, let's say it's roughly 10 animations um, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're just gonna divide that by 10. That'll give us about 0.1. This might be pretty slow because I don't have many numbers, but if it was, let's say 120, each, each one would be maybe 0 0.03 seconds. So here we go, slideshow from beginning. And you can see that is a decent counting animation. We can make it a bit faster, I think. So we're going to just um, hold shift, go animations, delay, maybe 0 0.05. Let's look at that. And that is our final counting animation. If you want to download a template of this in the description below, 121, click in the description below and you can purchase that from my website. Other than that, thanks for watching. Before we finish this video, may I direct you to the big red subscribe button down below because that will really help out the channel and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and watch this video next to see how to do a really cool carousel animation right in PowerPoint.